Hey travelers, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to stay extra safe when taking a taxi off the street. So I really hope that this helps you and let's get to the video. Step number one is you want to identify whether or not this is a registered legit taxi. If you do not know how to do that, then be sure to check out my last video on that. I'll have the video up here that you can click on and that is step number one for you. Once you have identified whether or not it's a legit registered taxi, then step number two is I want you to listen to your gut, okay? If the driver for some reason looks a bit sketchy, untrustworthy, then do not get in the taxi with this person, okay? Really listen to your gut. Sometimes I know that it's horrible to judge a book by its cover, but when you're traveling abroad, you have to stay extra safe, and if the person just does not, you know, doesn't give you a good feeling then don't get in the car and hopefully you'll avoid bad situations that way step number three is I want you to agree on a price before getting in this car and this is basically to avoid further problems along the way when you get to your destination you might have some disputes um, I'll talk about this more in another video but just make sure that you agree on a price before you get in the taxi and use that person's services Step number four is I want you to ask the driver what route they're taking before you actually get in. Um, or maybe like right when you first get in the taxi. And that, that's because there have been instances where drivers will say, yes, I'll take you to your destination. And then they'll end up taking you through these other roads. And if you know the area and it's unfamiliar to you, you're like, hey, where are you taking me? And then they'll say something like, Oh, no, no, I just have to make a quick stop here and pick something up or or drop something off or whatever. And then they end up taking you somewhere else, either to be harmed in some way or robbed or whatever. So you want to make sure that you kind of have an idea of what route this person's already taking so that you can avoid these kinds of situations in the future because if they start deviating from the path, dang it! It was like a really loud motorcycle, sorry. But if they start deviating from the path, then you know something is up and you can ask to get out. Step number five is that once you get in this car, what I want you to do is sit behind the driver. Now this is because in the event that this driver has some really bad intentions for you and they want to kind of reach back and grab you, and this is especially important for women, uh, they won't be able to grab you because you will be directly behind them. So to protect yourself, definitely sit behind the driver. That's step number five. Step number six is that once you're in the car sitting behind the driver, what I want you to do is lock the doors in the back, okay? This is because sometimes when you are stuck in traffic somewhere and especially in some kind of not so nice areas, people that have really bad intentions will kind of walk through the cars, you know, when they're stuck in traffic and they'll kind of just casually pass by the doors and kind of lift the handle the thing open to see if the car door opens and if it does open then they open the door very quickly they surprise you they take your things they run and so to avoid that situation it's best for you to lock your doors I have not seen that happen exactly I remember one time I was on a bus and I saw these guys going through the cars and trying to open the car doors very casually but luckily the doors on those cars were locked so they couldn't do anything but I have witnessed that myself in progress so be careful with that lock the doors with that being said I also want you to test the door and make sure that it will open back up if you close it so maybe actually do that first Close the door behind you, open it back up to see if it opens and closes fine, and then uh, lock your doors accordingly. <laughs> and the reason I say that obviously is just because you do not want to get in a vehicle where you don't have any control over opening or closing the door, you know, otherwise you're kind of trapped in that way. So just make sure that you're able to open and close those doors, that they don't have child lock on them, and you are good to go. Step number seven <laughs> is that I want you to lower your windows a little bit, just a crack, okay? Like maybe this much. I don't know how many centimeters this is, about two inches maybe. This is for two reasons, okay? Reason number one is that in case the driver for some reason wants to throw some kind of, I don't know, gas or something back there to knock you out or something, then you'll have that to breathe out of and hopefully help yourself that way. And it can't be too open because otherwise 
when you're walking when you're going through the streets and stuff people with bad intentions they will try to reach through that window and grab your stuff so that's why you have to have it open just a bit not too too much and those are the reasons that does not mean that it's gonna happen to you don't freak out I'm just letting you know that this is what I do when I take taxis maybe you should do it too Step number eight is that when you get in this taxi and you've done all the other stuff that I told you about, then text someone you know the license plate number of the car you're getting into or call someone and let them know or pretend to do it. And this is just to let the driver know that someone is looking after you, you know, they know what car you're in, the license plate number, so they better not try anything. Step number nine is that if you are carrying a bag, a purse or something, then keep that under your legs in your seat, okay? Um, you don't wanna have it on your lap or to the side. This may get someone's attention, so it's just best to kind of conceal it under your legs where you're sitting at, okay? Do that, please. Keep it you know, safe, keep your phone away if you don't really need to use it in that moment, and just reduce your risk. Step number 10, although I think it should have said that with step number one, is that if you get in a station wagon type of uh, taxi, those are those vehicles that have that really long back end part to it, um, then if you get in one of these kinds of vehicles, definitely check that there is no one hiding back there because there have been instances or incidents where there was a man back there you know hiding and a young woman will get in and take this vehicle and then they'll surprise her and bad things happen to this poor woman so definitely be on the lookout for that you know just give a quick glance make sure no one is back there if you take that kind of taxi and the very last tip today tip number 11 I mentioned this before in one of my videos about taking transportation out of Peru if you haven't seen that here's the link up here somewhere that you can click on but if you're taking a taxi then just be careful not to give out too much personal information um, this is just because you don't know what that person's intentions are with <clears throat> that information that they're trying to kind of get out of you um, you don't know if maybe they're trying to see whether or not you come from money you, you know you have valuables on you or whatever so just be careful. You can still have a really nice friendly conversation with that person but just don't tell them for example like whether or not you're alone or you know where you're staying or what your plans are you know or just uh, maybe give some kind of general idea of what your plans are but don't give the specifics out. Just be careful um, and I know it really sucks that you have to kind of be reserved in that way but yeah it's really up to you. It's up to your discretion to decide whether or not you want to share those details with the taxi driver or not. Um, I would personally just limit what I say to that person or like make up a story as I said before in my other video like just invent something say you have like a cool job or something say you're a diplomat or something and that way they know if they touch you they're in big trouble. So that's it for today you guys. It's really late now because I have had to I've had to turn on the lights. It's dark now and with all of the noise in Lima plus the construction workers here, like I had to pause and stop, pause and stop to make this video. So what's like a 10 minute video or 8 minute video is actually taking me like an hour to make or something. It's a struggle. A real struggle. But if you have enjoyed the information that I had to share with you today and you are now more confident about taking taxis thanks to the advice that I gave you, then definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up or a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'm going to give you really awesome tips on how to stay safe around your little travels here in Peru. And definitely stay in touch with me through social media. I really love staying in contact with you guys, especially through Snapchat. It's really fun for me to be able to see you guys and interact. And that's it, so I will see you soon. Take care, bye-bye. You're hiding, waiting for especially a woman to get in the car, and then, oh, why is it so loud?